Let's look at these literal equations. So um, this time we're going to be solving our equations, except for we're not solving for a number. So most of these are going to have two variables and we're two or more variables, and we're just solving for one variable, meaning that our answer is going to contain a variable. So instead of solving for a number like x equals three. We're going to solve for a variable. So an example would be x equals 3y plus 10. So we're going to have both of those variables. So you can see our examples here. We've got solve for y. we got 2x minus 5y equals 13. So I'm still going to be doing the same kind of things I was doing when I was trying to get um, x by itself and get a number, I just need all this stuff to go on this side, the equal sign. So same steps. I'm going to draw my line. I first have to deal with what's added or subtracted to it, and what's added and subtracted to this is this minus 5y. Opposite operation says uh, plus 5y on both sides. This is still... 2x left on this side, 13 and y are not like terms. This one has a y, this one doesn't. So it'll be 5y plus 13. Still trying to get x by itself. 2 is being multiplied, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And whenever I divide like that, I've got to divide everything by 2. So we're looking at x equals 5 divided by 2y plus 13 divided by 2. If those could simplify into easy fractions, I would. Um, you could use decimal numbers if you like that as well. All right, so same thing. Solve for y this time, meaning we want to get y by itself. Right now it's being multiplied. Everything else is already on this uh, right-hand side, so all I need to do is move that 4 by doing my inverse operation and dividing everything by 4. So then we've got y equals 20 divided by 4 is 5, so 5x. Negative 8 divided by 4 is a negative 2. So y equals 5x minus 2. And honestly, this is what we're going to be using this for the most. Um, we're going to want to isolate that y <coughs> for most of our things. So you can see these two other examples I have here are solving for y. So I'm going to run through those quickly. So we draw a line. We want to get solving for y. So we want y on the left-hand side by itself. 2x is being added to it. So we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. <coughs> Excuse me. We're left with 3y on this side. Again, this 3 is a number, and this negative 2x has a variable, so they are separate. I don't add them. I'm them in a way. I really wish this focus would work for me. All right. So my y is still not by itself. It's being multiplied by 3. So opposite operation says divide everything by 3. So then I am left with y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 1. 3 divided by 3. All right, one last example. Again, we are solving for y. want to get y by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by 3, so I'm going to divide everything by 3. We are left with y equals 5x. So that's it.